Yeah, there's some. My sister and my brother were actually okay. I was not. <laughs> you know, I, I think we mentioned this before, but I moved out of Hollywood and to the outskirts of Hollywood to kind of uh, get her away from Hollywood and a bad crowd. And the crowd that we moved into, there's been maybe three big movies made out of. One of them being, what's the Justin Timberlake movie called? Alpha Dog. Alpha Dog. Oh, that's that the, was you, that was like your school? That was her that kids. That was my group. That was, <laughs> wow. <laughs> And uh, 13, yeah. 13 okay. Reasons. That's something, I forget what it's called. The Nick Cassavetes movie. Yeah. But it was a mess. Those kids were a mess. The, the bling ring. I was friends or, with Nick Cassavetes' daughter. That's what, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's messed up kids. Everywhere. Messed up. You have no idea. You have no idea how I would come home from a gig or early and I'd have to, we have to go find her and I'd go break into a party and pull her out we, she hated me and the, all her friends hated me and it was not fun and i was not cool and it was not cool being howie mandel's daughter i don't think it's do you ever, want kids uh, it doesn't come up my therapist was, was like do you want kids and i'm like i don't know and she goes in seven years of therapy you've never once mentioned children so that means no yeah you don't I'm, have to ha i'm fine kids. if it happened i've got money i could deal with it that's uh, <laughs> that's so emotionally attached. yeah that's an attachment i got a dog during the pandemic and that's enough that's enough fatherhood for me yeah are you in a relationship now uh in between in between right yeah and are you gonna have to explain to somebody after this that i i refer to you as the in between i'm uh, like literally it's like i'm hours out of a conversation of ending one and i'm have a date tonight so We'll, uh, wait, so wait, 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 <laughs> wait. <laughs> That's hysterical. You, you, you just, you have a date tonight, yet somebody has just been alerted that it's the end of. It was, it was something that kind of ended and then they found out about this new person and we had to have a talk. Uh, but I'm, it's, I'm pretty casual with things. Is it somebody we know? You don't have to tell me, but just tell me if it's somebody we know. You may have no, no one famous. Oh, because you, you've gone out with famous people. Mm -hmm. you were, yes, you were Amy. Yes, uh, ten years ago, uh, didn't didn't enjoy it. Uh, but prefer <laughs> prefer civilians, to be quite honest. Um, but does you, she I, know you didn't enjoy it? Have you said that publicly, Amy? Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know publicly. I, I mean, I enjoyed dating Amy, but when the, when the, when fame got in there, it was just a, it was just got messy um, for both of us. We kind of both blew up at the same time. Uh, but yeah, this new this new one. I think you've met her. But uh, but not for a while. Did it end because you started seeing the other girl that you're going on a date with? Like you're like, oh, I like this one better, so I'm gonna end it with this one. No, one, and I uh, shouldn't be saying any of this shit. But uh, <laughs> but one was kind of like a very much a product of the uh, pandemic, where we kind of were both doing it alone and just decided to kind of like team up and get through it. And as the pandemic ended, it just kind of we, we kind of drifted apart. Is and this what the, the, are we person. are you reiterating the conversation that was had hours ago? A little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Is that what you explained? This was just about the pandemic and I, we needed each other and now that we're I didn't say it quite like that. And I was like, I still care about you, want to be friends, but I also have to kind of move on with my life. Right. And it, and it, you it, said it to her, just... I will love you till the Delta variant. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then <laughs> until I come up with something else. Because but now I want something moo. It was a lot of like trying to convince her that this new girl had nothing to do with it. And I believe that. But it's tough to convince someone of that. But at your age and with your track record, you're not going to settle down, though, right? I, I think if I if I was going to, I would have by now. That I I could That's see what I think. like I could see maybe like a you know un, a, a untraditional partnership down the line where we're just kind of like we kind of want to leave each other alone and we live in the same house and and uh, do things together. But I'm very happy being single and we live in the same alone. house. We love well, being I'm together. Not That's for, there's this whole new movement about not like even if you're married, not sleeping in the same bedroom. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not saying anything about my relationship. We're pretty conventional, but there's this whole movement that like, why are you supposed to even stay in the same bedroom? Like, why don't people have separate bedrooms because you're supposed to have your separate space? And why is that a weird thing? So you can have something like that where you just. But that's have roommates. It. That's not a. No, it doesn't have to be. I always say that I would rather be lonely than annoyed. And yeah. I've just gotten annoyed in almost every relationship I've been in <laughs> at some point. And I'm very, uh, I, I, I always say I get into one fight at the end. <laughs> and then that's it. But it's it's usually like a very it builds up congenial, jovial. Yeah, yeah. I guess it just you just I don't have the practice of dealing with little problems. I love that your Those breakups are congenial up. and jovial, but your uh, <laughs> well, the comedy is so, dark and yeah. pointed. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, are you an only child? Oldest of five. Oh. What yeah. was your theory? 
I mean, he gets annoyed <laughs> easily at other people. I just he lived he with to... he lived with four other people. So maybe that were that's why. Maybe put on this an... earth to annoy him. Yeah, yeah. I was annoyed. I was annoyed <laughs> until I got to leave for college. You're yeah. the oldest. Mm -hmm. What's the range? You're in your forties, right? You're 40. Yeah, forty two. And then it's like my sister. What's the youngest? Me is forty. Uh, the youngest is my brother. It was me, three girls, and a brother. He's seven years younger, so he just turned thirty five, uh, five or six months ago. Right. And they all, I don't know that they all, but I just listened to your act. They, they are, some of them are married with kids. My, my sister's married with kids. Nothing in my act is true. None of that. Like I, I, I like kill my parents every hour you know, right. and resurrect them for the next hour. Grandparents are coming and going. Sisters are dying. Uh, yeah. Nothing. When they true. hear these things and they're <laughs> part of these made up stories, does that bother them? No, they love it because they know it's made up. So they can be okay. But my mom will say, I'll have a joke about my mom. She, my, my parents have been together now almost 50 years, happily married. Me too, and, and my wife. Uh, yeah. and, uh, and I'll be like, but so my mom was having an affair. And people will stop her on the street and be like, I didn't know you were having an affair. <laughs> it's like, those jokes aren't true, but it sounds like it. The premises all sound true, even if the punchline's not. 